Hello everyone, this is Dom, and welcome back to my airport map. Uh, today I'm going to do another update, and the rain just started, there we go. <coughs> um, I've done a lot of stuff uh, since last time, so yeah, first of all I'll show you what I've done out here next to the main road. I've added a large parking lot, uh, floor, four floors. Uh, all the same ramp, although there aren't ramps in Minecraft, so <laughs> this will have to do. Very simple. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Lots of light. It looks quite good at night as well. I'll show you that later on when the sun oh, might go down. Whatever. Lots of signs. Uh, here, as you can see, speed limits, no parking. So, has some trees as well, give some color. Uh, wait, green for pot where you can stop, and red where you can't, which is simple, I guess. Uh, lots of signs again. So, people on the main road going both ways, no. Change this so there's only one lane and stopping. So, that's it. <coughs> added this uh, bridge type thing from the parking lot so that's, I th thought it looked pretty cool might change the wood though it doesn't fit in very well uh, arrows <laughs> these are made of uh, stained clay so yeah let's go to the terminal oh yeah uh, welcome to Terminal 2, access to Terminal 1 via Underground, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. I did some signs here. <coughs> uh, to go to the Terminal 1, it's T1 for Terminal 1. Obviously, uh, you just come down here and wait for a minecart. There should be about two or three going round, but because it's so far away, they might not be loaded. So when it comes, the light turns on, but if there isn't one coming, there's a chest for my with minecarts. So, and this just joins up with the uh, underground station underneath the parking lot on the other side, which uh, I'll show you at the end of the video if you want me to, or, you know, so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Um, that's about it here, I think. I'll show you... I haven't done much inside, so... I'll show you the... Uh, what's this? Taxiways, I guess. Uh, I've added lines, as you can see. Yellow lines just go everywhere, and there's the main yellow line that goes all the way around, which is surrounded by white lines as well. Uh, I don't know if the white line is accurate, I just thought it looked nice, not just having yellow everywhere. Uh, I've made the runway longer, and just generally a little better. Let's make this load. So the white line starts out here where planes would get off the runway. It goes all the way around, and similar to this, it stops where the planes would go on. I've also added another plane, and also these jetways where there isn't a plane. Show you this. It's a Boeing 747, so it's absolutely massive. Uh, it's hard to fit, and the chunks aren't loading, which is very annoying. Uh, let's just make this load. So this was the plane size I was aiming for, generally around the airport, but I built this, which is two times as big, or, well, almost. I think you could easily fit two of those in here. Um, yeah, I've also done the interior of the planes. Show those as well. Let's just go in here. <coughs> so this is at gate four. His departure's still the same. Uh, this jetway is two blocks wide since it's a big plane. Um, whatever, I thought it was nice. Uh, first class can go up there, or they can come in here and walk up the stairs here. So, first class is just more separated seats. Then back here is a crew rest area, or crew deck, as I 
labeled it. Oh. Uh, then there's the cockpit. Uh, nothing unusual here. Just boring usual stuff. Uh, and then there's economy class with seats all the way to the front. This is literally like right here. So I don't know if that's exactly quite realistic or not, um, <laughs> probably not. Then there's lots and lots and lots of seats all the way to the back and there's a little cargo bay and some toilets. So that's about it. I mean, it's pretty boring plane, although uh, this little hand luggage thing is only at the back because up here is first class area, so thought I'd mention that as well. Um, that's about it. I'll show you. I'll go off at first class. So this is only one block wide, and there's a huge gap here because of the p way the plane is shaped. So it's a little unfortunate. And this just basically comes down here. Comes down here. God, I've got a little cold. You might have noticed. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll show you the inside of these planes as well. <coughs> uh, pretty boring. Uh, we've got the hand luggage holders out of nether brick here. And the lamps on top as well. Because it's a very small plane and I didn't want to put glowstone in. Would have looked pretty ugly. Uh, cockpit looks a bit weird though. Again, it's very small, so didn't have much room to work with. I'll show you the other plane as well. I also have added these signs. Uh, thought they looked quite good. Uh, also added them onto terminal one, or the first terminal. The plane isn't loading. Hurry up, stupid game. Okay. So here I added a little uh, cafeteria cart thing, I don't know what it's called. Uh, the cockpit, there's no door for some reason. Uh, let's get a door. So it's raised up, then yeah, this is raised up as well. Uh, this is two seats on either side and he's made out of stone and wood. And there's first glass at the back. Very roomy, with tables, and then there's toilets in the back. That's about, this was actually meant to be a cargo bay, but I changed it into a first class thing. So, there's that. Um, let's get out of here. Okay. What else did I miss? Oh, also added this onto here as well. Where there aren't any planes. I'll show you the longer runway. There's a sign on this side as well, pointing to t the other terminal, which you can't see thanks to Minecraft loading speeds. <laughs> so the runway is a lot wider too. It's about seven blocks wider, which I did for the uh, larger plane, the 747. So the runway just came up to about here, but now it goes all the way over there. Um, although I think it has to be even longer, because this is about 200 blocks long, which is 200 meters, and run runways in real life are about a mile long, even longer. I think a short uh, runway is considered, or a mile runway is considered a long, short runway. God. <laughs> can't talk, let's try again. A one mile runway is considered short in real life, I think. There we go. <laughs> oh look, there's a mine system underneath. Didn't notice that. Uh, so yeah, there's the sign for Terminal 1, which you can see from both sides, in case you forgot where you are. <laughs> um, Nothing much has changed here, apart from that sign. I'll show you the uh, underground. Oh look, I forgot to add lights to this, that's why it 
so dark. Um, actually, let's use torches because it's outside. No risk of fire outside. Uh, let's add them to the back. Here we go, that's better. So, instead of the underground train, which I admit is quite stupid, uh, there's uh, access to Terminal 2, and you only need one line for that, so I've made it look like it's under construction, uh, because I was lazy to get rid of it and redesign the station. And this go the train goes clockwise, like this. Uh, Actually, I'll show you what it's like for you to dismount. <laughs> so you don't dismount minecart. Whatever. Uh, there's this design all along both sides. Uh, although on this side, I made it so some of the lights were off. Like it's still, you know, under development. Not perfect. Uh... Oh, where are the minecarts that got stuck? Oh god, uh, eat a dismount. There you go. <laughs> I destroyed a piece of track, didn't I? Yep. Uh, any other minecarts getting stuck? Uh, no, can't see any. Okay, good. No. Damn it. So here is the runway. Uh... And there's a little warning sign. And what I'm planning to do is make a custom resource pack where the noises of an animal, probably, I don't know, like a pig or something, I'll change it to an aeroplane landing. So uh, when people, well, when a p people go underneath the runway, instead of a pig snorting, they'll hear a plane landing, which I thought was really clever uh, what you can do with these resource packs. I won't go over there, but there is a pig pen, like, above the rails. So, when you get close, it'll snort, but instead of snorting, it'll be a uh, landing noise. So, which you can probably hear if you live close to an airport. Now it's night time, I'll come outside, stop the rain, and show you what it looks like. Everything is lit up really well. Uh, the garage garage is uh, lit up very well too. I need to add some oh god, what's this? <laughs> I need to add some of these to the outside. I forgot about that. But yeah, also the lines all the yellow lines are lit up too. So I added some vehicles, these little luggage carriers too. And that is about it, I think. Uh, done a lot of things. Seems like I did a bit more than that, though. Hmm. Oh well. Oh! And la plane landing in real life. <laughs> um, or helicopter, probably, actually. <laughs> so, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been update number three, I think, of my updated airport map, which isn't updated yet. Oh, look, it's all glitched out. Uh, anyway, getting distracted. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another update video coming soon. Uh, I think this is getting close to ready. I'm probably gonna, like, add a huge ring road that connects to the other side. So, the airport is surrounded by a huge road. So, thanks for watching. This has been Dom, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!